Welcome, this is Sig Taylor with Fish Out Loud. Hey, I'm really excited here. I'm gonna be selling my pretty much new boat here, my Vexus 2080 AVX, and someone like yourself is gonna pick up a smoking deal. Why do I say that? Well, if you take a look right now, you'll see that the new boats that Vexus is putting out are this retail price, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm adding about $30,000 to that, to that with all the value that you're getting. So why am I selling my boat? That was a question that was asked to me. Uh, I did a previous video. Here's why. I'm making room for my new boat, okay? And what I do is I try to keep a, a boat about a year or two, and then I give it to someone like yourself looking for a super deal, looking for a boat that's already ready to go, fish ready. And this boat has proven itself to be a big fish catching boat, all right? So take a look at this video and it'll show you some of the things that I put on this boat. Um, I've also, if you look below here, I've got a list of everything that's on there and what the retail price is on this so you can see for yourself. So if you have any questions, I put my phone number below here. Feel free to reach out to me, text me, give me a call. Let's talk, all right? Because this boat is not gonna last long. It's gonna go home and be ready for someone to go get some fish catching action. So here we go. Look forward to hearing from you. why I went with the Vexus 28. I went with an aluminum trailer. I went with the Lowrance Ghost because, well, it's kind of one of the best out there, I felt. Um, after all the research I did, I went with it. I did put a Mega 360 Hummingbird on here, hung that. And if you come around here, come on around here, I went with the front here I went with Lowrance and Hummingbird. I did the Helix Hummingbird with, the, again, the Mega 360. And then the Lowrance HDS, I went with a 12 inch. Let me take a look at that. And the Active Target. Get into my, my boat here and go through some of the compartments, okay? I love room and this, boot, this 20 foot aluminum boat delivers on the room. On this side, I have a compartment, which is going to be a lot of my stuffs in here. And also I have LED lights that I had put in. Very important. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Over here, I've got my ice chest that comes standard with the boat. That's nice to have that. And I especially had, for my YOLO techs, I especially had these put in here so I can get power constantly to my GoPros. All right, I'm gonna open up the center compartment here. And there's plenty of room there and also for my rods. Now, I believe I'll be putting most of my rods on this, on this side and I'm gonna explain why here in a second after I close this down. Now, they also have some rod racks, rod racks on this side. If you take a look, you'll see the rod racks. You know us guys, we need rods. Um, very, very nice um, laid out. I love this. Um, as I'm sitting here, I've got six little slots here where I can put various um, tools of mine for cutting line, um, pliers, you name it. All right, then one of the options I had to add when I bought the boat was I, this center console. And this is waterproof, I do like that. Um, it's just nice to be able to sit down and have something here I can grab and grab some stuff out of. 
I decided to go with Suzuki. And then plus, I've been hearing so many great things about Suzuki. I've broken the engine in already. I absolutely love it. And I can't wait to hear your stories about your Suzuki. So um, on, the, on here, the console, I went with Lowrance 12 inch HDS is here. I had, you name it, I've got it, okay? I've got, you know, side view. I've just got everything I need to be competitive with today's uh, tournament angler. Uh, I did purchase these E-locks here. Um, I felt it was very important, um, even when you're away for five minutes, that you have something that just deters um, anybody who's even thinking about it. Let them go to the ones that don't have the E-locks on it, okay? That's how I look at it. Other than that, I've got an adjustable seat. I've got hot foot here. I'm happy with that. Um, I had another, right over here, I had another Yolo Tech um, plug put in so I can now have my GoPro up higher as I can have that one lower. Just depends how I want to be able to do it. You know, for, for aluminum boats to have large compartments in the back is just absolutely amazing. I, again, everything is LED throughout the boat. Um, it's just, just large compartments here. I'm going to show you this one here a little closer. I actually had them put, this is where my, my cover is in, but it's a large, large compartment. It's amazing how big they are. Um, something that is um, not used to in, in aluminum boats, okay? Usually you got a little compartment in here. Back here, where all my brains are at, I can't believe the storage in here. And, you know, it's nice to have the storage here. You can take a look in here. Nice to have the storage. I went with uh, the um, power pole charge. I have four batteries. I did not go with lithium. I just went with regular batteries. I went with power poles. There's my my guts for that. Now I do have this, I can take it out, but to have, I've got an oxygenator in here. So again, I went with the power poles. I'm gonna get situated here. I'm gonna to explain to you why I went with Vexus and why I believe it's the best on the market. So stay tuned here. All right, back here in the tiny boat garage, sitting my bass down here. And I wanna really take some time and give you the backstory of how I ended up with the Vexus AVX 2020 aluminum boat, okay? First of all, I love tin cans. I've always been a tin can fan. Um, don't get me wrong, I may at some point get a fiberglass, but right now, getting my feet back wet into fishing tournaments, I wanted something that I felt comfortable with. So I did a lot of research, and, and there's a lot of great boat companies out there, okay? But what I ran into was a lot of these boats were six, seven, nine months out. So I first was... Uh, told about Vexus by my good friend Tim who actually did all the rigging for the boat and that stuck in the back of my mind. Vexus is um, a forest wood uh, company and if you don't forest wood he was the creator of Ranger Boats and he set that up before he passed away uh, to see that this thing is a successful company. Um, here's one of the letters that I've gotten over with from Forrest over the years, okay, from fishing tournaments. So it meant a lot to me that, I mean, that was, that was like five stars right there off the, off the get-go. Then when Tim told me how great these boats were, I, I, I took notice, okay, I took notice. So I started to do research. I had a few friends of mine, uh, Ken Ma, uh, Kevin Johnson on the West Coast that actually have these and had these boats. So I reached out to them. Um, now, you got to remember here, I never even saw one of these. I mean, I saw them on, uh, online and I saw pictures of them, okay? But I never took a test drive with this boat. I went off the relationships that I built over the years 
um, and asked them all the questions that I needed to know. Then I contacted Vexus, and Vexus put me to Clark Marine there in Nash, out of just out of Nashville, and the process began. What I loved about it is um, they told me about 12 weeks. I got it a few weeks early, you know, kind of um, oh, um, under, you know, what, what is it? Under promise, over deliver. I got it. Okay, I got that. So that was really nice to hear that they were able to put a boat together with me. Now I went with Suzuki. The more I ask about Suzuki, here's what some dealers told me. The only problem they have about Suzuki is they don't ever see them. That's a big plus for me. So I was, I'm very happy with Suzuki. I got this in the, in the garage here. I'm gonna start taking it out. All right, I hope that gives you an idea of one is why I believe this is the best boat. Um, number two, why I went with the Suzuki engine. And number three is this boat is ready for some fish catch in action as I prepare for my new boat. I appreciate you watching. Yeah, I have all the information right below here about the boat. Feel free to reach out to me and I look forward to seeing someone drive away with this awesome, awesome rig. Okay, remember guys, you're just one cast away.